Your Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the grounds for your proposed removal from office by impeachment as received by the Senate from the National Assembly are as follows. Part A, gross violation of the Constitution or any other law pursuant to Article 51B1 of the Constitution. Ground one, violation, gross violation of Articles 10, 2A, B, and C, 27, 4, 73, 1A, and 2B, 75, 1C, and 129, 2 of the Constitution, and Articles 147, 1, as read with Article 132, 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. The preamble of the Constitution provides, among other things, that the people of Kenya adopted and enacted it, A, being proud of the ethnic, cultural, and religious diversity, and a determination to live in peace and unity as one indivisible sovereign nation, and B, recognizing the aspirations of all Kenyans for a government based on the essential values of human rights, equality, freedom, democracy, social justice, and the rule of law. The preamble of the Constitution is supplemented by Article 10, 2A, B, and C of the Constitution, which establishes the core national values and principles of governance that bind all state officers, including the Deputy President. These values and principles include patriotism, human dignity, national unity, equity, social justice, inclusiveness, non-discrimination, equality, human rights, protection of the marginalized, democracy, and good governance. Moreover, Articles 73, 1A, and 2B of the Constitution establish responsibilities of leadership. They provide that the authority assigned to a state officer, such as the Deputy President, is a public trust to be exercised in a manner that is consistent with the purpose and objects of the Constitution, demonstrates respect for the people, brings honor to the nation and dignity to the office, and promotes public confidence in the integrity of the office. Also, Article 27.4 of the Constitution prohibits all forms of discrimination, including discrimination based on ethnic or social origin, conscience, belief, language, and birth. Further, Article 73.2b of the Constitution provides that decision-making should be objective and impartial and should not be influenced by favoritism and improper motives. Furthermore, Article 75.1c of the Constitution provides that a state officer should behave, whether in public and official life, in private life, or in association with other persons, in a manner that avoids demeaning the office he holds. Therefore, as a matter of constitutional compliance, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, who is the principal assistant to the President of the Republic, is required, A, to promote the constitutional core values such as peace and unity of all Kenyans in the context of ethnic, cultural, and religious diversity, patriotism, national unity, rule of law, democracy, and participation of the people, equity, social justice, inclusiveness, equality, human rights, non-discrimination, and protection of the marginalized and good governance. B, to respect and uphold representation of Kenya's multi-ethnic and culturally diverse society through the promotion of equality and affording equal opportunities to all Kenyans in appointments to the public service and allocation of public resources. And C, to make, promote, and implement public policy decisions that do not discriminate against any Kenyan based on conscience, ethnic or social origin, language or birth. However, on diverse dates throughout the last two years, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has persistently made utterances 
threatening to discriminate, exclude, and unlawfully deny sections of the people of Kenya and regions of the Republic of Kenya equal opportunities for public service appointments and allocation of public resources. Besides, the utterances are highly inflammatory and insightful and significantly undermine national unity and the peaceful coexistence of Kenya's diverse communities. To illustrate, A, sometime in 2023, at a public forum in Kajiado County within the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa made highly inflammatory and insightful public pronouncements to the effect that the government of Kenya is a company and that the allocation of government development projects and public sector jobs are based on shares determined by how the populace of the various ethnic communities voted in the 2022 general election. Specifically, he stated as follows, quote, a government is like a company. There is shareholding. Kunawale who have invested a lot of shares, kunawale wameweka kidogo, kunawale wamekata, lakini wote ni wa Kenya. So ndio tukasema, kama wewe umeenda kupanda mahindi, ama wacha nipeane example ya ngombe, kwa sababu niko kajiado. Wewe uko na ngombe yako ya maziwa, hiyo ngombe imezaliwa ikiwa njao, umeichunga vizuri, umepatia majani, umenunulia dairy meal, umepatia chumvi, umepeleka kwa malisho, umepatia maji, imezaa, imeanza kukamuliwa. Wewe unatakiwa kwanza ukue mtu ya kwanza kukamua hiyo ngombe na kunywa maziwa. End of quote. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa emphasized the divisive and insightful narrative embodied in the above utterances as follows. Quote, Haiwezikani mtu ambaye alikuwa anakupigia kelele ukichunga hii ngombe na kusema hii ngombe ni ile ya kienyeji hakuna haja ya, kushuguliki, ya kushugulika naye. Hii ngombe ni bure, haiwezi kutoa maziwa. Hii ngombe hata at, ikipona jicho moja wachana nayo unapoteza wakati. Sa ile ngombe imezaa, imetoa maziwa, amekuja na kikombe, amekuja na sufuria, anataka atolewe maziwa. Mimi nikasema hiyo haiwezekani. Nikasema yule mwenye hii ngombe na kuichunga na kuitunza kwanza akamue maziwa. Yeye na watoto wake wakunywe. Ile itabaki aitie majirani. Hata yule alikuwa anapiga kelele akisema hii ngombe ni bure na haiwezekani kama kunayo imebaki pia apewe kama hakuna imebaki atembee si namna hiyo end of quote his excellency rigadi gashagwa made similar remarks at another public forum as follows quote a government is like a company i did not say it is a company I said it is like a company. In every company, there are shares, preferential shares and ordinary shares. When there is an AGM, non-shareholders do not vote or attend the AGM. When there are dividends to be divided, they are divided according to the number of shares. That is the truth. End of quote. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa continued the insightful and divisive utterances at yet another forum where he stated as follows, quote, Silazima tungeangalia nyinyi, sisi lazima tungeangalia nyinyi. Hii serikali ni kampuni na ni shares. Sindio? Ni shares. Kuna wenye kampuni, wale wako na shares mingi, wale wako na chache. Kuna wale hawana. Sasa nyinyi muli invest kwa hii kampuni ya William Ruto na Rigadi Gashagwa. Sasa lazima mvune. Yule ambaye alipanda, atafanya nini? Simulipanda. Simuliamuka mapema. End of quote. 
At another forum in Nandi County, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa continued the same divisive and insightful narrative as follows. Quote, Raisa Ako Pale Niko Hapo. Raisa Ako Pale Niko Hapo. Huyu Felix Ako Hapo. Mimi mnanijua msimamo wangu ya kwamba watoto wakiwa wengi kuna wale kwanza ya kuangaliwa. Si mnajua? Sasa huyu Felix ako pale ndiye kuunganisha mawaya. Mambo yenu tumepanga. Mambo iko sawa. Chakula iko jikoni, karibu kuiva. Watoto ni wengi. Chakula ni kidogo. Iko watoto ya nyumbani iko wajirani iko namna hiyo na nyinyi mtulie chakula ikiiva sisi ndio wenye kupakua na watoto tunawajua kwa sura na kwa msimamo hatuwezi kuwa confused kuna mtu hajui watoto wake na wiki inakuja tutatangaza hatua kali ile tutachukua na ile maneno tumepanga end of quote in addition, in September 2024, during a public rally in Nairobi, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa made public utterances that incited other communities against the ethnic communities that live around the Mount Kenya region by stating as follows, quote, Na mimi mkaniambia ni msaidie rais kwa kazi. Lakini nikiwa hapo kwa serikali, nikue pia nikichunga mambo ya watu wa mlima. Niendelee kuchunga mambo ya mlima ama nisichunge. Sasa hiyo kuchunga mambo ya mlima inaniletea matatizo. Ati naambiwa mimi ni mkabila. Mimi ni mkabila kweli? Nikichunga mambo ya watu wa mlima iko makosa. Iko makosa. End of quote. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa's utterances throughout the past 2 years undermine the promotion of national unity in the context of Kenyan society's multi-ethnic demography. Clerk, just pause for a bit. Honorable senators, just put your phones on silence. Please, proceed, clerk. <laughs> His Excellencies, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa's utterances throughout the past two years undermine the promotion of national unity in the context of Kenyan society's multi-ethnic demography and multicultural diversity. In addition, they have the potential to alienate, isolate, and create disharmony among the various ethnic communities of Kenya. In summary, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa's above-mentioned utterances over the last two years are impeachable offenses to the extent that they grossly violate Articles 10, 2A, B, and C, 27.4, 73.1A and 2B, 75.1C, and 129.2 of the Constitution, and Article 147.1 as read with Article 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. Specifically, his Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa's divisive and insightful public utterances over the last two years, A, are incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, B, can stir ethnic hatred and, prom and promote ethnic balkanization of the Republic of Kenya, C, falsely alluded to an unexistent government policy to discriminate and marginalize the populace of the regions and tribes that did not vote for the current administration in the 2022 general elections. Your Excellency, Rigadi Gashagwa, how do you plead to ground one, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Ground two, gross violation of articles 147.1 and 152.1 of the Constitution Article 147.1 of the Constitution provides that the Deputy President shall be the principal assistant of the President and shall deputize for the President in the execution of the President's functions. In addition, Article 152.1 of the Constitution states 
that the Deputy President is a member of the Cabinet. On various dates throughout the last two years, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa undermined the President and the Cabinet and the effective discharge of the National Government's executive mandate by making unilateral public statements that were inconsistent with policy positions collectively adopted by the government. To illustrate, A, on or around 30th April 2024, the cabinet passed a resolution for the evacuation of people residing along the Nairobi River. B, shortly after that, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa made a public statement opposing the Nairobi River riparian evacuation orders which the cabinet had sanctioned for public safety and climate change mitigation. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa made contradictory public statements despite being a member of the cabinet and being assigned the function of superintending the Nairobi River riparian evacuation order. In addition, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has on several occasions throughout the last two years made public statements contradicting the President on critical matters of governance and the exercise of the President's functions as a symbol of national unity. To illustrate, in March 2023, at a public forum in the Nyanza region, the President said Kenya belongs to all, notwithstanding how people voted in the 2022 general elections, and that he would ensure the government does not discriminate against anyone. However, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, speaking after the President at another public forum, contradicted him by saying that Kenya is a company in which the provision of government services is based on shares. B, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has made numerous other utterances at public forums where he publicly restates the divisive narrative that Kenya is a company in which the rights of citizens are based on shares determined by how various ethnic communities voted in the 2022 general elections. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa's unilateral, divisive, and insightful public statements are impeachable offenses to the extent that, A, they undermine the effective discharge of the national government's executive mandate, B, they violate the doctrine of collective responsibility, C, they are equivalent to insubordination of the president, which is incompatible with his constitutional status as a principal assistant to the President of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, Rigadi Gashagwa, how do you plead to ground two, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Ground three,